from Zimbabwe, the Shangan courts. Uh, amazing, uh, uh, from a form, form point of view, quite quite similar to the uh, material from the Khabobosep. Uh, Actually, a little bit of an extra edge to this material. Or, or put it this way, it doesn't quite have that brilliant fire of the Khabobosep quartzes. Yet with strong lighting, it, it matches them in every way. Now, the reason here is there's a, a, a real intensity of color. So when it's amethyst, it's dark amethyst and usually patterned running through with these smoky quartz. In this case, first of all, we have a very interesting crystal shape. Now, I don't know if one could call this a scepter because it has a thin base there, but it's crystalline on top there. When we look into the, the crystal, we see little, uh, almost uh, a shooting star. Uh, that would be a little bit of hematite trapped inside these crystals, quite typical to this deposit. Actually, funny enough, I often find in hydros or gas come water bubbles trapped inside these. And when, when there's a lot of hematite, as in this case, I don't expect to find the anhydrous trapped inside. Um, let's just look at the crystallization across there. So from a display point of view, I'd have it on the stand going around like this. Um, one thing I must tell you, both the still pictures and the video, very, very difficult to actually get the real bling out of these guys uh, in the videos and the still pictures. Always much better when held in hand. And let's just see if we can find some patterning in here. I think there may be some patterning in concurrence with the, with the main termination. A sort of a V formation. I often find that inside these guys as well. So there's a hell of a lot of detail happening in these guys. All the way from Zimbabwe, Shangan Quartz, mined by the uh, uh, the the people of the that particular deposit, being predominantly uh, members of the Shangan tribe, uh, quite a prominent tribe in in Zimbabwe, Southern Africa, of course, just just north of the southern tip of Africa, where we are located.